Hey, Creative Katie Karen Virtual. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a mixed media tutorial and what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using these TCW stencil butters. It's a brand new product and I'm just going to play with it and show you some ways to use it. So I'm using two of TCW's uh, sign stencils and the mixed media board and it measures 16 and a half by six. Now, you see the blue on both of those sign posters because what I do when I'm combining or I want to use part of a stencil, I often stencil it onto plain copy paper and that allows me to play with the composition and figure out what and what I want to do and where I want to put things. I'm very visual and this extra step really saves me time, especially when I'm going to use modeling paste. It takes the fear out of using that modeling paste. So I'm playing with maybe writing the word got snow up there. I, I don't in the end. So now that I have the layout and I know that everything is going to fit, I want a background color. Now I could have gone black, but I chose to pick and create a dark navy. I didn't want the starkness of black, so I'm going to mix my navy. And here is an easy way to get a great navy. This is phthalo green and dioxazine purple. And when you mix these together, you get a navy. Now I'm pulling out these stencil butters and you can see the beautiful, bright, vivid colors. At this stage, I'm thinking those are the colors I'm going with. Obviously you saw the sneak peek, so you know I went in a different, a different uh, direction. So I'm just painting this on. Now these mixed media boards can take whatever you throw at it. And really, I didn't maximize it by layering collage papers and, and different kind of things. They're fairly thick, they're sturdy, they take wet medium really, really well. And just FYI, I painted the backside, which has letters, and you can totally create on both sides and then have a two-sided sign that you can get double the use out of. So you'll see me come back and create a different sign on the back of these. So I'm just putting on the base coat. And this looks very plain, very one tone. It is a little bit less one tone in real life because I am mixing, I'm not mixing the paint completely. I'm just kind of roughly mixing it. So some is a little bit, you're getting different variations of the navy. But I hope you agree with me that that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous navy. But I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time building up anything in the background because as I indicated at the top, this tutorial is more about playing with the stencil butters and seeing ways that we can use them in our mixed media and art journaling projects. Now I'm edging them and you can see the thickness of the board and you can see the back here that has the print on it. But when I put that navy on it, it totally disappeared. You didn't see it. It, the paper didn't lift or anything. It was just like the front. So I definitely am going to create on it and get, you know, double my value. Now that the paint has completely dried, I'm repositioning my dummy um, mittens and items in the composition. 
placing it, then I put the stencil over top, and now decision time. I have to decide. So I'm going to use fuchsia and the orange color, and I can't remember if it's called marmalade. And I decide, you know, I'm going to start with the pink, and then I end up mixing these, which make a beautiful, beautiful coral. They mix beautifully well. FYI, you can also take the stencil butter, if I had the pink stencil butter, and mix a little orange in it and change the hue by just adding a little bit of acrylic paint. I've done that um, just in playing around off to the side, and that worked really well as well. So you can play with the colors and tweak and get the perfect color and get all the shimmer and shine and wonderful qualities of the stencil butter. Now, when I'm mixing paint in there, I'm using medium bodied paint. Loving the look of this old fashioned mitten. I went and I cleaned the stencil. And then I'm coming back and stenciling in the other mitten. Now, the stencil butters do take a little bit of time to dry. They stay open, which is great because you can play with them. They don't dry as quickly as I find the modeling paste. But that means you have to be patient. Now, I'm able to stencil this one in because the mitten's on the other side. The word snow, I wasn't able to stencil because my stencil would overlap it and it, I would mess up my um, stencil butter. So at this point, I need to put it aside and dry, let it dry. Now, I did come in with the heat tool. I kept the heat tool off of it. If you put it a little too close, it did bubble it, which is fine if that's the effect you're going for. But if you're not you want to be careful. So now that it's totally dried, I'm coming back with the yellow. I'm thinking, you know, I'm staying in the warm zone. And as you can see, it's very, very bright. All the stencil butters are very vivid colors. Bright and beautiful. And definitely, when I do snow winter ones, I go more to the blues and purples and greens. This was a total depart from what I normally do. So I'm scraping off the excess, and I was going to put it back because it is still perfectly good, but I had some paint on there because I don't always clean my stencils, so it was on the on that. Now. The yellow, it wasn't quite working with what I had there in my mind. So I'm coming back and I'm putting a coat of the pink. I'm thinking that's going to be more one tone. And that's me. That's my personal choice. If you liked that combination, there's nothing wrong with it. But for me, I wanted something a little bit more... close, not as much contrast. So I'm liking this better. And then I decide I'm going to stencil with the snowflakes from this sign. And I'm going to stencil a whole bunch of gold. I didn't want everything on here to be textured. Initially, I thought I'd do the snowflakes with the, with the stencil butters as well, but I changed my mind because, I, you know, variation is key. Now, there's about five or six different snowflakes, and I'm trying to put different ones. I'm also stenciling some of them off the sign, off the edge. TCW also has a flurry stencil, which I have but I chose to just stick with this stencil. But you can mix and match. I also have snowflake stamps that you could have used here. I'm putting in some of those dots, 
playing around. I chose gold as opposed to silver, but again, because I'm in the warm color family. The orange, pink, red, gold all go together. If I was doing this blue, I would do teals and greens and blues and maybe silver. So you could do the exact same thing with a different color scheme. And every step of the way, I'm looking back and I'm reevaluating what I've done. Now I decide I'm going to edge this with gold to give that little bit of gold edging to it. Now you could do this on an art journal page. You could do this on a canvas. Now the pink, again, was a little bit off and I decided, you know, I'm going to stencil over this. I'm going to put the stencil back on. I know it's like the third time, right? And I'm going to stencil a little bit of gold. I'm highlighting it with gold to tie it in with the gold snowflakes. It's a very subtle difference. Now, here's what I learned the stencil butters work perfectly well. You can paint on them, you can shade on top of them you can add highlights or whatever because the acrylic paint goes over it very, very easily. Now that little addition, just tied it into the gold of the snowflakes. Now, if you think I'm done, I'm not because I grabbed the stencil butters and I thought, gee, I wonder if I can stencil with them instead of using a palette knife. And this totally worked. Now, because they're a little bit thicker than paint, you get a little bit of texture, which I love. So I then decide I'm going to stencil some coral colored snowflakes. I've got the pink stencil butter off to the side and the orange, and I'm putting both on my makeup sponge and then stenciling on here, layering up these snowflakes. So we put the stencil butters with a palette knife. I had learned off camera that you can mix acrylic paint with them and change the colors. You can paint acrylic paint on top of them and you can use apply them with a makeup sponge. And you still get that shimmer and shine. So lots of variations in how you can use these little pots of vibrant, shimmery color. Splattering with gold paint, this is just hiding any imperfections and just tying it all together. And then I splatter with the stencil butter. I add a little bit of water. They thin just the same as acrylic paint and I can splatter with them. So one more way of using those stencil butters. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you some ideas of how you can use those stencil butters. I will link the stencil butters below. And they are available at the TCW store right now. They're also available at ninniesnapkins.com. There are coupon codes for both of those in the description box below. Now let's go get creative.